this is a crescent moon. It's um, a phase of the moon. We don't always see the moon looking exactly the same, and that's because of the relationship of the Earth and the Sun and the moon. The Earth goes around the Sun, but the moon goes around the Earth. The light from the moon is actually a reflection from the Sun that is shining out to us. And mm, we don't always see the entire reflection because of where the moon is in relationship to Earth. This is called a crescent moon. It looks like a smile or sometimes people say um, a nail clipping. <laughs> this is what's happening. Here you can see the light from the sun as it's coming down and it's aiming towards Earth and the moon. When the moon is in between the sun and the Earth, we cannot see it. The side that is towards the Earth is dark. It's called a new moon. There is no moon to see at this point. When the moon scoots over to the side, we get to see a little bit of reflection here from this side showing to us. And it looks like this. It's beginning of the moon. When the moon is to the side of the Earth, we see half, the half that is toward the light, and the, we see half of the moon in the night sky, or sometimes the day sky. Here, the sunlight is coming down and it's showing almost the whole part of the moon. Okay. As the moon scoots around, we get to see all of the moon reflecting its light until it comes back around the other side and we start to see a little bit more in darkness. As it comes here, we can see half right there, the line is drawn, half of it is in darkness, and it comes back around and it has a crescent again. Here is some pictures that show how the moon also looks, and they each have a name, which is kind of fun. So the new moon is when it is in between the sun and the earth, then it's called the waxing crescent, the first quarter, waxing gibbons, full, waning gibbons, third quarter, waning crescent. So waxing is when it's beginning and waning is when it's going away. There are some pretty old fashioned words. But if you look at just these pictures of the moon, you can see those are kind of the shapes you might see when you see the moon in the sky. In our story, the girls also find the Big Dipper. Now, you find um, the Big Dipper in the sky by connecting the different stars. The stars are planets or suns that are far away from us, and they are reflecting their light to us. They're shining their light towards us. The Big Dipper has a handle, and then this is like the scoop part that you'd use to scoop something up. And you can see there's a, a line that you can draw between these and the North Star. Here is the handle of the Big Dipper, and here is the scoop part of the Big Dipper, okay? And it's a little bit enhanced with a little bit of blue light, so you can see it a little better. A lot of the things in the sky have names, like over here, this is called Cassiopeia, and it's one of the other things that you might see in the night sky. And there's a lot of different ones that are fun to look for. Something else you might see in the night sky is the Milky Way. They call it the Milky Way because it's a very bright cluster of stars in the sky. And it has like, looks like a white milk maybe has spilled across the night sky. And so they call it the Milky Way. And it's a large cluster of um, stars together. In this story, they're lucky enough to see a shooting star which might look like this, a streak of light going across the sky. If you've ever gotten to see one of those, you're very, very lucky. But the moon is something we can most certainly see. Here is a very tiny sliver of a crescent. And then here is the star. You can see it's not all the way dark here. This star is Venus, sometimes called the evening star because it's the first star that appears in the sky for us. So here we see the moon again and we see Venus, which is of course a planet that is in our own solar system. 
So we're going to be reading the story Starry Night. And we're going to be talking about some of these, the story is going to be talking about some of these different shapes and stars and phenomena.